Peace and prosperity be unto all who's listening and watching. It's your girl, Lachey Miller, right? And I'm back with another video. And today, we're going to talk about self-help and helping oneself. Because in this society, and I learned this a lot in, like, um, in life, especially from working and just, like, living in general and different experiences... Like, no matter what aspect in life, you will always have people who will rely on you. Now, that's fine, in a sense. As long as you don't wholeheartedly become their handicap. You want to handicap a person from helping themselves. They say if you teach a man to fish, he can take care, he can fish from life. But if you catch the fish and you give it to him, I mean, he's not, he don't learn from that. You know, you just provided something that he need to go learn how to do himself. So if you teach a person to fish, they learn how to fish for life. And if you provide a person with something that's going to help them grow, something that's going to help them expand, then you provide them with value, value for a lifetime. And that's the purpose of that message. But what I know is, is a lot of people who um, don't hold themselves accountable to their life. And often at sometimes um, expect other people to do things for them. It's a lot of people expect other people to do for, do for them. And, you, you know, good is good in one aspect. But then again, it's some people will take advantage of that and they'll wholeheartedly rely on you and a person who don't rely on themselves or their ability or learn to have the ability to help and provide for themselves ultimately put them in self, put themselves in a prediction that leads to unaccountability but also puts themselves in a um, handicap position where they're somebody else is obligated for them but they are not obligated for themselves. And that's not good because that doesn't require much growth. You don't have to grow in some aspect like that. You don't have to grow as an individual. You don't have to be responsible when you put yourself in a predicament or a situation like that. But when you put yourself in a position where you have to learn, where you have to overcome, where you have to figure things out, and you have to find the solution to the problem, when you put yourself in a position of thinking like what what is it I can do to help myself to be better to grow you are in the most greatest position ever because it's not a lot of people out here uh, looking to grow there's not a lot of people out here looking to expand there's not a lot of people who's looking to prosper but there is a large amount of people who are and then, like, ultimately, when there's, like, a really a large amount of people who are very strong, um, you, you eventually become the handicap of the society that is not strong enough to take care of themselves. And then, you, in some indications, like a child, you know, you could take care of a child. That's different. Or, like, an elderly who no longer has the ability or the capability of taking care of themselves. Or, in a situation of, like, pets, animals, things like that. Then they don't even have ability to take care of themselves. But then again, they do have their own instincts and way of providing and, you know, taking baths and things. They have their own instincts and ways of taking care of themselves as well. But if you have them as a pet, then it's different. So, what I'm saying to you, in life, don't be so gullible when it comes to people because a lot of people will seek out your help but not willing to help themselves and like and it's a lot of people i've given wise uh advice counsel to it's a lot of people you can tell things a lot of people you could say things to them a hundred times and they'll never get it and 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 that's that's because they're not in a position of changing not in a position of growing and not in a position of having the mental capacity to get them to the place where they desire to be from here to point B. And I'm so proud of everybody who is working towards 
becoming a better person, you should give yourself a round of applause, a pat on the back, and a sense of relief because at least you're starting. At least you're trying to figure out. There's people in this world that have problems and um, realize things about themselves um, and do nothing about it. Um, realize they are poor in this aspect and struggle with money in this aspect, but do nothing but complain. You know what? Complaints get us nothing. And there's no abundance in complaints. Uh, complaints don't change anything. Complaints are like the things you cannot change. And then sometimes there are things that can be changed in those complaints, but a person without the action or the belief to get up and do the things in which they need to do in order to make those things happen, it's like no point. So be a person who is always looking to help yourself. Because if you put yourself in a position of always helping yourself, then when it comes to helping other people, you'll be in a, a real great position. But always look to help other people as well. Because ultimately, these are two indications that you want to prosper in life and you want to have more abundance. Because the more willing you are to give your service, your we serve each other. We serve each other by giving our gifts and our abilities and our wisdom and our knowledge and the things we learn and overcome and master and teach it to the world and we grow in that aspect to give back what we've learned um in a sense of gratitude because that is amazing you know because we didn't have to be gifted with those things that we or we didn't have to overcome those things but we did so the gratitude in it is just giving it back in the way that you can teaching people helping people you know um that's the really most important thing that you can do with your life is help others and then learn to help yourself because learning to help yourself is first before anything and you know that's like most people they have to come to an understanding that like everything starts with self and then like some people want it to start with other people some people look to find those traits and those qualities that they can create and have in themselves and look to find it in other people but ultimately, that is a failed mistake. And if you keep looking to find these characterisms and these um, traits in other people and not have those things within yourself, then every time you look to find it to be complete with another person, um, ultimately, you'll fail. You have to be a whole person because you are a whole person. You're a whole person. You're all one. You are enough. So when you come to this understanding that you are one person who is whole, who makes mistakes, who makes flaws, who has flaws, um, uh, you, you make good choices, you make bad choices, but as you get older, you become wiser for that season and um, you become more prepared in life. Um, so it just comes to this understanding that you want to have it all together, but as you get through life, every season, every phase in your life, you're prepared for each each season so just make sure you guys are putting yourself in a position of growth helping others helping yourself don't handicap others nor do you want to handicap yourself put yourself in a position of growth okay abundance prosperity and when you do this you will increase the things that happen in your life i assure to you a hundred percent things will get better and you have to speak these things in your life. Things will get better. Things, this too shall pass. This is only for a season. Like, speak over your life. Because in the tongue is life and death. And the moment you speak something over, it becomes a manifested thing. And those manifested words become a reality for you. And it becomes your perception. It becomes your reality. And it becomes your um, your struggle, your suffering, your, in your internal fight. Uh, so um, I want you to understand the depths of your words and the power that lies in the tongue and ultimately what happens when you fight against, you know, words because uh, it, it causes a fight in yourself that you ultimately don't fully understand. So I want to encourage you to help yourself and help others, but be proud of who you are, be strong in who you are and remember that you are amazing but you must strive for greater because you are great but we can be better with every day every step every way in every aspect 
So comment down below, like, comment, subscribe to this video or subscribe to this channel. Um, engage with me in the comments below. Hope you guys like this video and I love you all.